Hi all, today we are going to see a different kind of automation. This is an image based automation. And the need for this type of automation arises from the fact that nowadays most of the applications are cloud enabled. So all you have on your desktop is a icon which you click eventually and get into that system. And that give another set of challenges for a person who is doing automation on this right uh, so one of the key challenges like you cannot inject your automation tool to inspect the elements of a given browser or application because that application is not running on your desktop or the process is not running on your desktop but it is actually running on the cloud and that is where this image based automation is relevant and one of the key reason is that these are like relying on the rendering part of the images rather than injecting the automation in the process or the executor and that is where we are seeing a tool uh, which has matured over the period of time last 10 years uh, called Sikuli and we are going to do one small exercise uh, where we are going to click on windows icon which you see here <clears throat> right click on it uh, run click on run and then it will open a box uh, i will type here chrome right now i'm doing manually but this will all be done by the automation suit that we are going to create Another common trait is like we are going to use command line thing uh, and as obvious uh, we are going to use Java based ecosystem to enable end to end journey for this. Yeah, uh, Code is available on this repo link which you are seeing where my cursor is rolling. So to start with you have to create uh, a Maven project uh, with a default uh, I mean archetype in the Maven. Uh, I have given name com help auto uh, representing the automation uh, but you can choose the name of your choice. Uh, once you do this uh, you need to open this in one of the editor of your choice. Go to the pom.xml and add a dependency to do sequely um, uh, in, in your project and then the version that I have chosen is 2.0.0 but um, the latest is 2 or to something like that right after that you have to create a class with name open chrome dot java and there i have added a function uh, that do the exercise and that i have captured in five six seven eight and nine step so i'm just going to my <coughs> eclipse editor and you will see here this is my class that is actually doing the stuff uh, one key thing that you have to observe here is something called pattern which we are using to locate the appropriate images just before this or uh, like talking more in detail what one thing you have to do before like uh, adding this project is like you need to capture these uh, images and for that you can need a delay i have added a delay of five seconds to capture all these images but it's a fairly straightforward process uh, you capture these images and eventually put it inside the resources folder src main resources of your maven and uh, once you you put this through um, all these three images uh, what you have to do is like grab a uh, object of type screen this comes from the sequely api um, uh, provided all the steps right uh, for example i told you uh, do right click and then click uh, then wait for some time i mean this these are like some of the uh, the helping functions that has been provided like sometimes uh, uh, the automation that you are trying to do on that particular tool is not that responsive enough you have to wait for certain time at the same time uh, you need to understand one more uh, nitty-gritty like sometimes the images are not matching exactly uh, so it is sometimes 0.80 percent or 60 percent so that's where you see this uh, where i'm matching similar image with 0.8 or 80 percent uh, matchability so yeah uh, we are good to run this uh, i will open this uh, application go to the main class uh, that is app.java uh, right click on this uh, run as 
Java application and you will see that this application is going to run uh, and the actual automation that uh, I was talking about that it will click on run uh, do the right click you see that now it will click on run type Chrome after waiting some time and you see this Chrome window is opened so that's pretty much completes the journey of it and thank you for watching this